Hi, Mike's carburetor parts here. I'm going to talk a little bit about a uh, Holley 1904 one barrel carburetor and the economizer uh, pump here, or diaphragm, I should say. And uh, what this is for is it's for the power circuit, and it fits right in here. And at idle, when you have the highest vacuum, um, this thing is pulled up like that, like a so, and it pulls off the, uh, I don't know if you can see it there, the float's kind of in the way, but there's a little stem right there on your economizer block, and uh, anyway, this pulls up, that stem is up, and no fuel is going through the power part of the economizer block. As you increase speed, your vacuum drops, and this, uh, drops down and pushes down on that pin which incidentally needs to be straight and don't take it apart you can't gain parts for it pushes it down and allows more fuel to go through the economizer block okay so that's your power and that's how it works now the vacuum is coming in right here through this little hole and that feeds down through the carburetor through this hole right here and then through your throttle body let me see here then got this I'll twist it around here and make sure I tell you right got to get this pointed in the right direction and get the right hole here Let's see it's this hole here all right this hole here lines up with this hole right here and that's where the vacuum is being fed which comes out here now this can be blocked off by a gasket that that's not big a big deal because there's also a hole right here that feeds it so either one will feed it so you don't need to, you don't have to have this hole through the gasket um, but this needs to be clear so as long as that's clear and you don't have a vacuum leak somewhere uh, it, it, it should work just fine. So there you go. Just inspect these things and make sure there's no rips or tears. Uh, that's about the only way I can think of that you, can, you can't really test them um, other than testing your vacuum, of course. Uh, this ball, let's see, this little right here is where it feeds up into the cover plate and there's like a check ball that's embedded there that doesn't move or anything that just blocks it off um, I guess it could be uh, considered a clean out all I wouldn't take that out at all and here's where the vacuum comes in so it through there and through there okay so I hope that helps you understand how the economizer diaphragm works and what to look for if you're having trouble with it as far as vacuum passages go thank you for watching